welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new to my channel i am melvin finsterwald i am an author and i am spreading the holistic approach of self-love which is spirituality personal development financial literacy and love to mother earth for today's episode i will share with you the update of my health condition in my previous uh, videos I shared with you that I have a high blood pressure and it was happened in um, May and uh, you know I was hospitalized and then I made a goal to myself to reverse the high blood pressure and my goals are really very specific in june i want to change my food intake and then in july i have to attend to my sport activities i want to practice this hit training and then in august i have to attend my sleep condition because I could, cannot sleep well. So today is really the update uh, of what was happening last June. So here I am again with my blackboard. I just want to bring you back to the starting point. So last May I was hospitalized and in June I have started taking actions. So this is really my ultimate goal to reverse high blood pressure. But please, if you do that, you have to consult your physician, your doctor, if you are allowed. I asked my physician and she gave me the green light because I don't have any defects or what's defects. Uh, my organs, are functioning other organs like kidney heart and so on so please please consult with your physician and then these are my actions these are my plans to implement so in june i have to re reduce my weight i have to change my food intake so in May 17, 2017, I weighed 70.3 kilos. And then at the end of June, I weighed 66.3 kilos. So you can see I lost 4 kilos. And it was so astonished. I was so astonished also. And I could not believe that reducing weight is so easy and i will show you now this blouse i could not uh, wear this for many many years because it that it really doesn't fit it didn't fit but now you can see and also uh my um pants i'm so happy and i just want to share with you my joy and i want to motivate you to take action and use me as your motivation because I know how to fight when it comes to health, when it comes to illness, as I am a cancer survivor. So what did I do? So these are the foods, you know, remember uh, from my previous um, video, I grouped it. And you can also group your foods. Just group it the way you want it, the way your mind understand it. The first grouping, what I what I define as consciously defined as refined sugar. These are the foods when you see them, your brain understand. Okay. This food contain refined sugar, so I avoided them, like chocolate, uh, 
cakes, biscuits, candies, and you know, these are all the, the sweet things. And then there's also um, hidden sugar. Hidden sugar, you can see them in the processed food, like your sauce, soya sauce, your ketchup, everything that is processed, especially also alcohol. So alcohol, I avoid it now. And then I only use a little bit of soya sauce, a little bit of that and, you know, uh, what we use in the kitchen, but a little bit. I also reduce my salt. And instead of using salt nowadays, I use herbs because they are really very healthy. And then I avoid eating carbohydrates like rice. We Filipinos, we love to eat rice, noodles, potatoes. These are all food that I really avoid. And then what I really, you know, I have done this many years, intermittent fasting. So I only eat lunch and dinner, only lunch and dinner. But the difference uh, before, before I eat twice a, a, twice a day, but I always snack. But you know, this is really a good news to all of us. If we eat a lot of foods that contain fiber, veggies, um, fruits, or then avoid sweet fruits. I avoid sweet fruits because the, the, although they are natural, but they, they also can, um, can affect our you know chemical the chemical reactions in our body they are they are still sugar right but in this point of time i avoid them i just avoid them maybe i will eat them in six months but now because i'm just you know i'm not there still not there to my goal and then i eat lots of beans and then i only eat fish and chicken i don't eat pork or beef so these are what i you know what i have done so far and look at me now fabulous i reduced four kilos and i just want to share this with you that we can do that that we can fight against our illness and sugar refined sugar is really very unhealthy refined sugar can kill us so i hope that i motivate you look at me as a wonderful to have this feeling of success and when it comes to my blood pressure i'm i'm there i'm not still there but it really reduced um the uh, recommendation from the hospital is under 130 and over 80. It is still high. I, I'm there. I am under 130 now, but the lower value is still high. But I just don't care about that. I know that the time will come that I also can, you know, reduce this. We just have a patience. Everything has his own time his own process, right? So believe in yourself. As I believe in myself and our healing power within us, when we have determination, of strong determination to get rid of the medicines, to reverse high blood pressure, then we can do that. Believe in me because I am a cancer survivor and I did a lot against it. And now, there's no reason that I will not be successful. So I will be sending you my love and strength. And I hope that you also try to think about or reflect about your health condition. It is really worth to fight. 
and to reverse the hard, high blood pressure. Until next time, I will also share with you about the result of the July goal. And this is really sport. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I tell you. I hope that you are well, sending you love, and together we can make it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really need your help and support. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Bye-bye.